What's going on, guys? Like I said in the last video, I was kind of motivated at the end to like really get these cars going. Um, I pulled this car into the garage now, you know, because I got room. You know what I'm saying? I got room to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I got both the projects in the garage. They look a hot mess. But you know, it's a start. I already got them on jack stands because today I'm going to try to figure out the uh, clutch issue. Here's my toolbox I said I was going to get. and got it all somewhat organized. This was tools that was already in it, so I just kind of put them at the bottom. Whatever I don't have, I can just keep. But uh, yeah, about the slider to this car. Like I said, um, I have a master cylinder. The clutch isn't, if you don't remember, the clutch isn't consistent. Sometimes, you know, you can push the clutch in and go to the next gear. Sometimes it doesn't. Especially when you're not moving and you're trying to go in first or reverse. Sometimes, you know, you got to pump the clutch a few times. So it could be air bubbles. Could be something wrong with hydraulic system. Um, I have a clutch master cylinder, but that's a pain in the ass to change. So I'm going to try to bleed the clutch from the slave first and hopefully that does it. So I don't have to mess with the master because I don't have the back for that. I'm getting old, man. Here's the slave cylinder. He said it changed it, so I mean, it definitely does look new. But like I said, um, bleeding this thing by yourself can be hard. I'm going to try to bleed it straight from the slave cylinder, not with the clutch pedal, and hopefully it helps. A uh, quick shout out to Brandon Smith, because uh, when he was over here uh, helping Jacob put his bags on, he left this light behind, this magnetic light, and it's really cool, and you're not getting this back, because... I'm gonna use this a lot. <laughs> this thing is dope. Also, a lot of I saw a lot of people going crazy over this tool, this Stanley tool. It was going viral on the internet and all that. And like seriously, this tool is old as hell. I had this for like five years at least. It's really cool though and really helpful for tight spots. You just twist it back and forth. I mean, it'd probably be cooler if I had one of those automatic ones where you just hold at the handle and it twists, but I ain't got one. Probably gonna buy one after this, but it's too late right now. Things out. It actually feels pretty tight, so this might not work. But I think I hear air. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Alright, I'm in a really uncomfortable position. I wish I had a lift. I do not. I'm in my garage, on my chest, on a roller. Gotta make do. Here we go. You need a towel, you need some type of bucket, because you're going to make a mess. This is a to-go box for Sam's lunch. Um, she's going to be mad, but I'm trying to hit a curb this summer, so I need to get going. All right, you're going to push this thing. Make sure you're pushing this thing straight. You're going to push it in with your palm. Like I said, I, it's, it's pretty tight, so I feel like it's probably not leaking, but we're going to find out anyways. So, how are you gonna push that in straight the best way? Put that in your palm. You're gonna grab it by these ears with your middle fingers. Like you're doing like a rocker kind of thing. Yeah, yeah this, this wrench doesn't really fit that well. I think it's supposed to be a seven. I don't have any tiny wrenches this size. This is a nine thirty second. You know, we metric over here. I'm gonna loosen it as I'm pushing it. I'm gonna try that. Dripping, close it. With it. It's gonna come back out on its own. You don't have to pull it. You shouldn't have to pull it. If you do pull it, then you probably pulled it too far. All right, let me try this again. Sorry if my hands are blocking it, but. Coming out on its own. I'm probably gonna do this about five times, probably the safest. That was a nice, smooth, steady stream, so that's good news. If there's any air in there, it should be gone, at least, mostly. It's a little bit tighter, and it kind of hurts my hands, so that might have did something. Like I said earlier, I felt like I was hearing air. I don't really hear it as much, so. All right, we're going to put that back and see if it worked. Please, God, work. Alright guys, I'm back. A lot of frustrations and etc. made me disappear. It's hard to vlog and do this type of stuff because you know how working on cars is. Sometimes stuff just doesn't go right. 
And when stuff doesn't go right, it's hard to like film it and start over and all that stuff. So I just kind of cut the camera off. I'm like, let me figure out what the fuck is wrong with this car and just go from there. So I was trying to bleed it from my hand. It wasn't really working. And then I just spilled in my toolbox. I just, it wasn't really working. And then I don't know, the needle felt kind of weird. So I just assumed this was broken. And then I put another one in there. It's already in there. I already did the work. And I bled it with uh, my hand pedal in my skateboard. I just propped my skateboard as a pedal holder. And then, um, so now, just plug it up because the battery keeps dying. And now I'm going to start it up and see if I have a clutch now. Please work. If not, this is going to be another wasted video. drive this motherfucker and by the way i did end up buying a ratcheting wrench works really well this is actually from amazon the whole set was like 80 dollars. you get this a battery two batteries and a charger and like some like 10 mil 12 mil sockets this thing helps a lot this is like my favorite tool now it was only 89 dollars. like seriously amazon you all right with me bro go very far because the car is not registered I still don't have brake lights which I have not figured out yet but at least I can drive it the tires are dry rotted too kind of why it's extra bouncy right now it's real bad <laughs> I also see my speedo stop working That sucks. But the important part is I'm shifting with no effort. Easy. I need some donuts back here, but there's workers right there. And these tires are really bad, so they probably won't even last. kind of releases at the bottom so I definitely gotta probably bleed it a little bit more but at least I know what the problem was that's what's up man I'm, I'm really hyped right now all right that's gonna do it for this episode next episode uh figure out the brakes they got like window motors I mean it's a bunch of little shit I gotta fix on this car but Getting it drivable is the important part, and now I can shift the car, so we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere, and I am working on that car. I swear I am. I promise I am. All three of these bad boys. Boy, summertime coming, man. I don't know if all three going to be here by summer. Summer Summertime going to pop up before I know it, but we doing something, man. I'm out here, man. I'm working, man.
All right, y'all. This is for now.